Yes, I did. I said, I could have got you a couple of bucks off your family. I could have got you this guy. <laughs> anyway, I had to sign a lot of books, which uh, it doesn't, you know, my wrist doesn't get sore. I exercise it a lot. <laughs> Exercise my wrist. I live in LA. You gotta work out. You gotta work out. <laughs> anyway, people don't just ask you to sign the book. They ask you to sign other stuff too. They cast photos from uh, from the Drew Carey show. The uh, you know breasts. People like their breasts signed. Drew Carey's breasts. They like them signed. <laughs> and you can tell people want you to sign stuff just so they can just sell it on eBay. And you can tell they've already got a deal in place. You know, you know uh, can you just make this out to crazyfan11 at bellevue.com? <laughs> anyway, so I'm in New York to do all this. And I went to uh, the Barnes. They have a Barnes & Noble big bookstore in Union Square. And I was m waiting to meet a girl I like. <laughs> As opposed to a girl I don't like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was waiting to be a girl I like. So I go into the bookstore and my book is there on the display. So I stood next to her. <laughs> Picked it up, laughed at Oh, ho, ho, this is engrossing. I'm engrossed. Thrilling, yet sad, yet funny. And helpful. I waited for someone to buy it. I waited hours. They threw me out when they closed. But was, anyway, as part of this... For a word press tour, you, you, you get interviewed by everybody. You sit there, it's what they call this satellite press tour, right? And what you do is you sit in a little TV studio, a little, tiny little TV studio, much like this one, and, and there's a, a camera, and they do these things where they link you up with different sh you know, stations around the country, the local shows. And you, you talk about the books. So, you know, you talk to Good Morning Kalamazoo, uh, Wakey Wakey Bakersfield, I don't know, all of them. Get Out of Bed Guys, San Francisco, uh, whatever it is. Whatever the flavor of the local station is. <laughs> anyway, you start to feel quite kind of full of yourself when you do them. You're kind of like, oh, yes, I'm an author. And then one of, one of, after one of them, I could still hear them talking on the air. And, you know, I was, like, finished. And he said, well, that was Greg Ferguson. Uh, coming up, something a little more interesting. Pet <laughs> something a little more interesting. Pet of the week. <laughs> a warm-up act for a cat who got trapped in a garage! <laughs> anyway, you do that, then you move on to the big leagues. You go to the big shows. I did the CBS early show, and then the big leagues. Uh, the Tony Danza show, the... <laughs> and then the bigger leagues. The David Letterman show. I did David Letterman show. Yeah. That's, yeah. Well, that's scary for me, because David Letterman is my boss. He, he owns this show. He owns me. So it's... Really? So it's like going in for your annual review, but on TV. And he asked me some very probing questions, like, uh, who are you? And can you get me a latte? Uh, anyway, the highlight of the whole week for me is I'm si I got to sit in for Regis Philbin on the Regis and Kelly show. Regis was off um, promoting his book out here, I guess. And, and uh, so I got to do the show with Kelly Ripper. Uh, that is a big hunk of woman in a small package, by the way. That's all I'm saying. She's the, I like her. I like her. Um, and apparently Regis watched the show, and he said to Kelly afterwards that she'd done very well. Didn't mention me at all. <laughs> Threatened, I think. That's what it was. Threatened. Look, we're on CBS. And, uh, and Regis and Kelly are on ABC, so I felt a bit like a spy. Like CBS had sent me. You know, Ferguson, we're sending you on a top secret mission to ABC. <laughs> Find out why their housewives are so desperate. <laughs> ah, yeah. Find out why they're desperate. I can tell you why they're desperate. They're hungry! That's why they're desperate. <laughs> no, there must be more to it than that. No! more than that, they're hungry! <laughs> anyway, I got... When you do Regis and, and Kelly, you get to use Regis Philbin's dressing room. Mm, you may well. Mm, that's the noise I made when I opened the door. And at, it's a palace. You haven't lived until you've seen Regis Philbin's dressing room. An espresso machine, posters with unicorns, a lot of posters with unicorns. 
He loves unicorns. A jacuzzi for his dogs. Just everything. And I wanted a souvenir. You want a souvenir? You so I, I couldn't help myself. I took Regis Philbin's robe. <laughs> Kelly Ripper called me frantic this morning because uh, his robe's missing. He's walking around the studio naked, apparently. <laughs> He's doing the show naked. That's the bad news. The good news is he's now number one in San Francisco in the morning. He's got the big show. Worldwide Pants.